Let's see the apocalypse. Swing in, bang in, and he's out of there. You're out. Cause I'm a cowboy who wanna steal a horse I ride. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay, and tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because we are visiting my old haunt, uh, we are visiting um, something that I used to play a lot, which would be Demir. Yeah, I used to be like a Demir main back in the day. We're talking about 20 years ago, 25 years ago. I used to love it. Because, uh, you know, blue used to be a lot more than just kind of uh, counterspell, which is what we think of it now. You could draw cards, you could do tricks, you could do unblockable. Unblockable was a real fun one for me, and we're actually going to be revisiting some of that tonight. Um, some of the more tricky Demir as opposed to control. Now, we do have a counterspell or two. There's nothing wrong with that. Some removal. But we are doing a card draw, card superiority kind of um, combination deck right here. And I think you're really going to like it. Um, it's a return to a classic style of Demir that I really like. So before we get down to that, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, well, guys, you know what's going to happen to you? You will be attacked by the like and subscribe. It's just going to rip you apart for not liking and subscribing to the channel and joining the villains today. You can check out our stream at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all live stream goodness. Uh, we would love to have you on Twitch, on the Twitch stream. We'd love to see you there. Um... Follow the link in the description. You can also hit the bell because we do go live on YouTube as well. So there's two ways to see me live. Um, and guess what? On this coming Tuesday uh, is the release of OTJ. We're going to be opening up a bunch of packs. We're going to be building the new stuff from the new set. So keep an eye out for that. That's why you're going to want to subscribe and hit the bell. Um, check out our Discord community for all the latest news, information, post your decks, post memes, post anything that you want. In the Discord, great way to get in touch and join the JVillain community. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this deck, go right down there below. Again, the link is in the Aether Hub to get your own version of this. So, what are we talking about with Drawn Out? Love these style of decks. Well, we're going to do a little bit of fairies in the front. Fairies actually really like um, card draw, they actually encourage card draw and they're flying, which is going to feed into a lot of the rest of what we're doing here. Uh, fairy. <clears throat> Dream Thief is actually a pretty popular card. One black, flying, 1-1 one, one fairy warlock. Fairy Dream Thief enters battlefield, surveil one. You can throw one in your graveyard, which is very useful. I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, you can exile it from the graveyard. You draw a card and you lose one life. Drawing a card is very important. Drawing a card is going to be the lifeblood of this deck, and I'll show you why in a second. We're going to want card superiority. That's how we're going to get our gain and drain, and that's how we're going to get our power. Fairy Mastermind. We're going to throw two of them in there. Flash and Flying. 2-1. Uh, Whenever an opponent draws their second card, you draw a card. Then you can force each player to draw a card. And if they do it, then you get to do it again. So it's actually a very, very cool thing that you can do there with the 1 blue and 3 for the Fairy Mastermind Fairy Rogue right there. Um, so great one right there. Early Flyers, early uh, Attackers, and some cool drawing card abilities. Now... Here is Prof's Eidetic Memory. This is a blue card that I was kind of sleeping on. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of blue. I used to like it a lot more, like I said. But this one is, is pretty cool. It kind of acts like a green card. One blue and one enters the battlefield, draw a card. Already pretty good. You have no maximum hand size. Hey, sure, why not? We're going to draw a lot of cards. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you've drawn more than one card this turn, put X 1-1 one, one counters on target creature control, which X is the number of cards you've drawn this turn, minus one. So if you draw two cards... You're going to get plus one, plus one counter on some other creature. Now you're starting to see some combination plays right here. We want to draw all the extra cards that we can. We're never going to have enough. We're, we're always going to have enough for our hand. Um, we could draw 25 and it would, wouldn't do anything. And the more we draw, the more powerful things get. And if we're putting them on little flyers, well, guess what? We are going to be putting one one. So even when you just play this, you get to draw an extra card. So... No, no, uh, uh, no ha maximum hand size, plus one, plus one to a creature, and, um, and drawing an extra card. 
it doesn't go away. It's an enchantment. It's a legendary enchantment. You can only have one of them out. Um, but it is going to affect the game very strongly because our goal is to keep drawing as you, as it will and build the power of our creatures. Reasonable doubt. A little bit of counterspell right there. If you want to put a different counterspell in it, yeah, I'm not mad at you. I mean, you could put whatever counterspell you want. If you want to put two, you want to put three as opposed to something else. Uh, spell stutter is not that bad because we actually do have some fairies. Uh, if you wanted to double down on the fairies and do a little bit more, you could probably do another spell stutter. It's not a bad idea. You know, uh, negate or any of the other ones that you want to do. Um, it's fine. I kind of want to keep, cre uh, you know, I want to keep spells, maybe not so much speech creatures, but not spells. So negate's not a bad one. Uh, but reasonable doubt's not bad because it also gives a suspect a creature, which makes it menace, which makes it a little trickier to block, especially a flyer more tri tricky to block. Um... So a flyer that's, you know, a trigger to block is doing a lot of damage. Bitter Triumph and Drowned i -Core. These are our two removals. Bitter Triumph is going to be uh, one black and one additional cost. Discard a card or pay three life. We'll probably have enough cards to discard that this isn't, uh, this isn't a problem because we're going to be drawing so much extra. Um, it's going to be pretty good. Or we can just pay three life. We actually do have some decent life gain, so it fits real nicely. Now, Drown and Icor is a very good one. By the way, this deck, uh, the, the main framework of this deck was made by our good friend over on Twitch, Trexodactyl, uh, a, a valued and storied member of the J Villain community. I got to give the biggest shout out to him. Uh, I think I forgot to. Um, because he came up with 90% of the framework. I was already working on something like this. I wanted to use Prof maybe with fairies in some way. And I had the rough sketch. He said, I got you. Let me show you what I've been doing. And he really came up with some of these great ones. Uh, one of the great ideas he came up with was Drown and Icor. It's a great removal. It feeds into Massacre Girl. And it proliferates. So if you've been using Prof's eidetic memory repeatedly... Um, and everything has 1-1 one, one counters on it, guess what you can do? You can proliferate and make all those 1-1 one, one counters go up by 1. So Drown and Icor is a great combo play to go with Profs as well, to go with Massacre as well, so you can just kind of see how there's a lot of synergy between a lot of these different plays. So Bitter Triumph is a removal, Drown and Icor is a great removal as well that will help proliferate all of the 1-1 one, one counters we may have established by them. Here's Steam Core Scholar, which I've seen a lot of people playing I haven't had the chance to play him yet. It is a some sort of cloud detective guy. He's electricity cloud with a bowler hat on. So hey, you know you can't you can't fault magic for the aesthetics. You know I've I've had a dragon throw a rhinoceros at my opponent and win the game that way. So a, a detective, uh, a detective electric electricity man wearing a bowler hat, pretty normal. One blue and two 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 flying vigilance. Weird detective. When Steam Core Scholar enters the battlefield, draw two cards. Very useful. Uh, then discard two cards unless you discard an instant, a sorcery, or a creature with flying. Well, we have a lot of instant sorceries and creatures with flying. We can actually res some of the creatures we have with flying, so I'm not worried about throwing away a fairy dream thief or something like that because I can bring them back and draw an extra card, which feeds into the concept of the deck already going, that we're already going for. Really good stuff. Um, so, yeah, really, really go cool with him. I've seen a lot of people playing him. He, he's getting up there. Choking Miasma. Now, this is going to be the controversial run here. We kind of need something to do with Boros Convoke. It's everywhere right now, isn't it? Uh, two black and one, negative two, negative two. It has come in handy a few times. If you don't want to run it, you could also just run more removal or more counter spells. I have it in here because I have been facing Boros Convoke or Swarm decks or Soldiers or something like that, and just being able to wipe down everything that we can very quickly, uh, even without playing that green or whatever, is extremely useful. So that's why he's there. Liliana of the Veil. Um, yeah, I'm not, you know, she's a good addition right there. Each player discards a card. Do you know why that's good for us? Because we have a million cards in our hand. We're going to have so many extra cards that putting the pressure on them for them to have nothing and us to have a bunch of stuff is going to be really cool. It's actually going to be really useful for us to put pressure on that. And we have the Force Sacrifice with her. Uh, I rarely ever get her ultimate, but it is a very good ultimate. So great way to kind of unbalance the game even more in our favor by making them have not very much and us being able to draw replacements faster and faster. Now, I talked about getting being able to draw replacements or resurrect things. Gixie and Puppeteer. Um, we have a couple of four drops in this one. Two two of them are going to be Gixie and Puppeteer. Two black and three, four, three, Phyrexian Warlock. I feel like I'm the only person in the world that plays this guy. Uh, whenever you draw your second card each turn, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. I love it. I love it because we are going to be drawing our second card quite a bit, as you can possibly see here. Then... Uh, on a death trigger, whenever Gixian Puppeteer dies, return another creature card with mana value three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Cool.
cool. Bring back a Steam, uh, a Steam Core Scholar. Uh, bring back a, a Fairy Mastermind in one of those. Fantastic. He's going to resurrect something for us as he dies. So even if we were throwing stuff away, discarding things or whatever, surveilling, he's going to do it. Massacre Girl is a nice combination here because combining with Choking Miasma and um, and Drowning in Icor, we can actually get people down to get their toughness down to zero. And that means all of our creatures now have Wither. So the idea behind Massacre Girl is if that if somebody's toughness equals zero it dies and whenever it dies from toughness equals zero we get to draw a card so with two black and two we get legendary creature human assassin um massacre girl four four uh everything has wither she has wither everything has wither wither means that everything does its damage in the form of one one counters um so that means that all the damage we're doing with our flyers are going in the ground whatever we're doing on there is going to hurt people down to zero toughness. And whenever you get to zero toughness, we draw a card. You're starting to see the synergy here. We want to draw cards. Drawing cards is good. Um, that is going to power us up even more and even more. And we give them more options, give us more control, more removal, and of course, hit profs. Sheldred, if we're going to be drawing cards, we got to talk about Sheldred. She's just too powerful not to. Two black and two, four, five, Phyrexian Praetor, Death Touch. You know her, you love her, or you hate her but she's here either way. And whenever a opponent draws a card, they lose two life. So with us drawing all that extra cards, she's just gonna feed us life like crazy. Um, it's a great to do the, the life loss on that combined with Gixian Puppeteer, that whenever uh, we uh, when we draw our second cards, they lose life. And then when they draw their card, they lose life. It's a very good combo right there. Vraska's Betrayal, uh, another proliferate combination here to make profs even more powerful. Um, we can get her out for five. We can also turn other people's stuff into treasures. We can just petrify it by turning it into a statue because she's an evil Phyrexian Gorgon. Um, so we can play her for five or we can play her for six. She comes in with only four if we play her for five with that Phyrexian mana, that completed ability. We don't really need the poison counter. She's mostly there to draw us extra cards. Yeah, you see that? Lose one life and draw a card, proliferate. With Shieldred on the board, guess what? We don't we don't actually lose any life. We gain one life and proliferate. With Gixian Puppeteer, guess what we do? We gain uh, three life, proliferate, and they lose two life. So there's actually some really good high-level plays that you can do with Veraska if you have the rest of your combination pieces on the board. Very nice right there. And there's Ingenious Prodigy. Uh, another card that I think I've played before, but I never really got the true power of. Here is one with Skulk. This is why I was talking about Unblockable back in the day. Uh, one blue and X. <clears throat> Human Wizard. Ingenious Prodigy enters the battlefield with X. One one counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Ingenious Prodigy has one or more counters on it, you may remove one and draw a card. Now, the fun thing about this is that it creates a perfect loop with reasonable doubt. I mean, uh, with Prof's eidetic memory, not reasonable. Whenever you draw an extra card by ruining a run one counter, you can put a one one counter back. So as long as you have a one one counter on that, you get an extra card draw every single turn because drawing one will put one down and then you can draw one by taking one off and put one down. You see how that works? You can do that functionally forever by getting extra cards each turn. And every extra cards each turn, Gixie and Puppeteer is going to work on them. Shield is giving you life. You're getting more and more and more and more resources. You also have the Skulk ability. Uh, if you don't want to take the 1-1s one off, uh, you can just start Skulking around. What does Skulk mean? Skulk can't be blocked by creature with greater power. So if they have big creatures, you can adjust your power level by either putting counters on or taking counters off so that you can always be unblockable uh, and get that damage in where you need it. Combined with the Gain and Drain, it is very, very insidious. Again, very tricky kind of blue that I kind of like from back in the day. Not just counter spells, but a lot of other unblockable tricks, powering up, cool stuff like that. Seven islands, eight swamps, four dark lick shores, one restless reef that has turns into a shark. Um, underground river for the one ping damage. We're actually going to gain some life with this, so I'm not worried about it too much. We look at the stats right here. It is alchemy ranked. It is also standard. It's 100% legal and standard, 100% legal and alchemy, both of them for your pleasure right there. 20 creatures from assassins to wizards, uh, five instants, four sorceries, three enchantments, four planeswalkers, unusual for me, 24 lands all together with a 2.6 average. That is going to be your standard build right there and alchemy build. Uh, we're going to give you your sideways view. Here we go. And again, um, sideboard is kind of crazy. Urtai Resurrect is actually not a bad guy to do in the sideboard uh, because its controller draws a card. Uh, so you can counterspell or destroy something for three at flash speed and its controller draws a card. So you can either destroy something you have 
to make yourself draw a card or do it to somebody else and force drawing a card for somebody else with Sheldred actually does two damage to them so that's pretty fun he's not a bad idea for that go for the throne in case you want some other stuff cut down for anti-aggro negate and spell stutter maybe so yeah there's a variety of different stuff just different types of removal or counter spells as you want again you could take out choking miasma maybe one massacre girl to kind of go different techs you can swap this for a lot of different things it's a very versatile build right there that's what we're looking at a horizontal view tell me what you think are you excited for otj do you miss the old blue the crazy blue like with morphling and you know diplomatic immunity and all those old cards right that leave a comment tell me what you think let's get to skulk and drawing and doing damage uh in alchemy rank we're gonna try to push up to platinum one right here here we go there we go it's almost time guys If you didn't see, because apparently nobody saw, I put up Mardu, um, Mardu, what are they called? Mardu Mercenaries. Am I going to get this work? Bro, I got to film a video, man. You got to spend points to fight. I'll, I'll get to you, man. Listen, man, I'll get to you. Don't, we'll get there. We'll get there, man. Don't worry. I know I, I'm, I'm aware mono red's real good, and you'll you'll probably go real fast and cast a lot of burn spells. I get it, but I gotta make videos, bro. That's how this channel stays alive is making videos. Yeah, I'm trying to find an actual VTuber hat costume. Um. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to find an actual to put on there. Right now, I just have this PNG of a hat. But I like the PNG of a hat because I can put it on other stuff, too. You know what I mean? I can put it on I can put it on anything. I can put it on my opponent. Put it on this dinosaur. Put it on me. Put it on Vito. You know. Um, it's a lot of different... Uh, it's a lot of different options for hatness. Hey, Silent Snow. Coming in with the gifts. So many one bits. Shaving a haircut, one bit. Uh, let's do this. Boom. 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 Unless we get rid of that. Let's get rid of choking my asthma. Boom. Shaving a haircut, 52 bits. Still rocking the hat. You gotta rock the hat, man. It's almost hat time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Boom. Boom. Alright, let's do that. Um, we gotta do this. Uh, discard a card. Let's do that. Okay, play the dark slick. One, two, three. Boom. Boom. What's up, the spree? Great voice for streaming. Why, thank you. I do my best to provide you with good streaming aural pleasure. Aural meaning A-U-R-E-L or A-L, aural. Not oral, which is different than aural. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of that guy. We don't want that guy anymore. That's fucking suckers. Uh, boom, boom. Wabango. There we go. Silent Snow even gifted more cheers. Trying to get the hype train running. Trying to get that hype train running. Without love, 
Where would you be now? Without love. Alright, let's do it. Two, resolve, A2, resolve, submit, boom, swing o bingo, there we go. Uh, dis uh, unless it pays up to two, yeah, we'll we'll take it. Boom. Yeah, we'll draw a card for triumph. Yes, we don't care. Boom. Keep that one. Draw a card. It's Shield Dressy the Apocalypse. Swing in. Thing in, and he's out of there. You're out. Cause I'm a cowboy who wanna steal a horse I ride. Wanted, wanted, dead or alive. There you go. I even did the the guitar bridge for you. Can you walk us through the logic of this deck's tactics? Uh, so the point of this deck is to draw cards. Uh, it's a drawdown deck. So the idea is to control out the game a little bit. It's got a smidge smatch of control. Um, and draw cards. You want card superiority and hitting card draw repeatedly actually triggers a lot of different abilities. Gain and drain, um, charging something up, making creatures unblockable. We have a lot of different abilities that we can run by just drawing cards so it's a card superiority uh with a with a secondary tact of controlling things out uh, boop, 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 boop. snow it keeps cheering bits bits no my dude my dude fucking paid his dark dark uh he paid his dark energy um, he paid four thousand. You can anybody can spend thing to get me to sing a song. It's not hard to get me to sing a song. It's hard to get me to shut the fuck up. That's that's the hard part. Boom. Surveil. We actually don't need another blue lamp. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Straight through jail. That's just redeem a song. You have to request a song. <clears throat> you spent the on the wrong one, Larry Mitchell. You have to do. I don't think you knew that though, so I'll I'll let you off with the warning. Wasting away again in Margaritaville, searching for my lost shaker of salt. This dude said, I'm going to rock the one man a hand. He said, I'm going to do it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a ten petty fuck, bro. I will start this game with one red mana, and I will fucking finish it. I don't care, man. I don't... I, man, fuck this game, man. I don't even I don't even care anymore. I will run red mana this thing to death. Hell yeah. Searching for my lost shaker of soul. Some people claim there's a woman to blame, but I know. Do, 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 do. Well, it's not really a sellout. It's you know, I uh, try to make the stream fun for everybody, but um, 
It rewards people who are here frequently. I don't actually know Blaze of Glory by Jovi, John Bon Jovi. Uh, I know I know Bon Jovi's uh, you know A sides, mostly the newer A sides. Um, oh my God, this dude still hang out of mana. This dude still he's still running mana list, bro. What are we What are we talking about here, bro? What are we even doing? Two, boom. Yes. Boom. Keep that one. Draw a card. Boom. Okay. Fantastic. I'll pick another one. It's my life and it's now or never. I just want to live forever. I don't want. I think it's. I don't want to live for. I just want to live while I'm alive. It's my life. My heart is like an open highway. <laughs> hey, you got a second fucking Bon Jovi song. There you go. Hey, what's up, Ghost? Ghost. It's okay. It's me, Ghost. Uh, I don't really like this hand. I'm going to mull that. That's a little better. That's a little snappier. I'll get rid of that Vraska. It's not that hard to get. There's people here that have like 100k. Somebody will probably spot you. Don't worry. Alright, he's playing that. Boom. 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 Swing out. Bing out. There we go. Choking miasma. Whale of the forgotten. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, it's a whale of the forgotten. Alright, we, now we didn't hit a mana there, which is a problem. Drown an Icor will help, though. We put something down to Icor out. I will Icor him out here. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely, we definitely have an Icor right there. Boom, boom, boom. Wabango. Well, we, we really need that th third mana, though. That's gonna kind of make a difference. Um, there we go. A spot of bother there. Boom, boom. Drew two. We'll get rid of choking my asthma. Boom, boom. Boom. All right, we'll have to bitter triumph him. Unless he plays 80,000 pounds of removal, 1,000 pound removal bomb. We can play thousand pound removal bomb on him, man. Cool. All right, he's gonna go in. Pop. Uh, we will discard a card. We'll get rid of massacre girl, no killer. Boom. All right. Prodigy, smack my bitch up. Boom. Damage. The nukes. How you doing, Effie Lewis? The nukes. Who else we got here tonight? Ding, 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 ding. All right. Is he gonna draw? Take action. I will draw. Okay, we will put down that. Draw, draw. Discard two cards. It's gonna be that one, it's gonna be that one. It's gonna be that one. Is he gonna play removal on me? Oh, 
Hit. Pop. Sauron's reunion. Oh, okay. Cruelty of Gix. Yeah, we'll do that. Damn. Took Cruelty, which is what we really needed him not to do. Cruelty of Gix. Put our creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield. No, I think he's still dead to me. Yeah, he's still dead to me. Cruelty of Gix. Boom. I think he's still dead to me, though. Put a creature from the graveyard. He can put Sheldred. Well, I'll just put... Oh, he's gonna do another one. Collect Evidence 10. We'll do that again. Attracts a Grand Unifier. Well, there he goes. It turns out, guys, he wasn't actually running a Demir. He was running an Attracts a Resurrection deck. Turns out, my man was not cool at all. He was running a goddamn Attracts a Reanimator. Um, so that fucking sucks. He's just, I thought he was running a Demir deck like me, but nope, he was running a fucking, uh, a Trax Reanimator. Fucking lame, dude. Fucking lame. Wait, why is he able to cast that for fucking free? What the fuck is going on here? You may collect evidence 10 rather than pay. Right, yeah, we're done here. This is fucking boring. That is fucking boring. Yeah, I got direct removal. I don't have one in my hand at all times. That is fucking boring, dude. That is fucking lame. Lame as fuck. Farewell and her, I think, are the biggest problems. I think that problem... I'm not even mad at Wandering Emperor anymore. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if we can get a game. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go for it. In Restless Reef. I hope, I hope Snow's still here so she can see this has exact. It's a reef that turns into a shark. A shark. Let's do that. Boom. Shark. Shark! Blind. Shark. Uh, let's do that. We'll keep I4. Shark. Is he doing dinos? Yeah, he's doing dinos. Prof's eidetic memory. Draw. I4. Kill. Submit. Boom, bop, chicka chop, bop, doo wop, cheerio, bop, bop. He's gonna put some. He's put some heavy down. All right, hulking raptor. We'll have to hold reasonable doubt. I don't. Um, I don't trust not coming in with reasonable doubt here. Um, we're gonna do two sharks. Two sharks. Shark. 
okay. Block creature with the greater power, so it can't block him anyways. Boom. Go in. Bum, bum. Okay, so he's gonna try to put down, like, fucking Itali or some shit. We'll, we'll snap him up. We'll snap him up. Oh, Delighted Halfling. Interesting. So I took your advice yesterday and delete all my decks, so make new decks every way. Kind of freaked you out having no decks. Yeah, it does do that. It do be doing that. Yeah, okay. Now he's committed. He's going in. Wabango Tango. Uh, we will take action. Yeah, okay, there we go. You don't actually have to do that, Lord Sephiroth. Like, I don't know if that was advice. That's just what I did. That's just what I do. I don't often delete all my decks, but you will push yourself out of your safety zone. You will go out of your comfort zone. Um, by doing that, for sure, you will you will test yourself. You will test yourself and your resolve and your shorkiness. Sharkiness. <clears throat> Did you know that sharks are older than trees and dinosaurs? I think the only thing that they're not older than is other basic ass fish and some other shit. But they're older than a load of shit. It's pretty wild. Emotional support anvil deck. I'm not saying everybody has to. Somehow this became like everybody has to delete all decks. I don't know where that came from. That's not that's not a thing. You can hold on to whatever decks you like. Just try to get out of your comfort zone. Try to play something different, you know? Um, What else are sharks older than? A lot. They're older than Necrons. Anybody 40k players in here? You want to know how fucked up they do the time scaling in uh, 40k? At the time of the Necron convergence, where the Necron tier became the Necrons, sharks are older than that. So that's funny. Lanawar loudspeaker. Prop psydetic memory. Boom. Boom. Not drawing any mana, I see. Yeah, I just mean the taxonomy. Yeah, some sharks are 400 years old. Yeah, they're older than America, um, which is pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> he's going to put down probably a... Jay has the worst stream lag sometime. I sure do. I sure do. He's going to put down some here. He's going to ping me for one. That's stupid. Um, let's do profs. Eidetic memory, yes. Thank God. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, bang, go. All right. So at least we have drawn an, drawn an Icor right now. Boom. He's going to put down something big. Tranquil Frill Rack. He might destroy that. Uh, he might destroy that. Uh, he might gain four life and destroy that enchantment right there. I will... Probably kill the loam. Sp well, well, who should I kill here? Stimcore Scholar, Harry Tracker. Uh, let's do the loam speaker. Actually, you know, let's start with him. Draw, draw. Finally, okay. Choking my asthma. Get that out of there. Put that down. I'm gonna swing in. Bang. Okay. Scale back Shepherd. I could actually really hurt him with a uh I'm gonna do that. What is he gonna play here? 
destroy target artifact or enchantment, and none of them are artifacts or enchantments. He could have gained life there. Frill back. My baby got frilled back, frilled back, frilled back. Farewell's gonna rotate. Hey, what's up, Keith? Um, Farewell's gonna rotate, but... Um, what does it say? So got another year till Sunfall does. Absolutely we do, yeah. Boom, boom. Watch this. Wanna see somebody get real upset? Boom. Unless he has a haste. If he's got a hasty boy, he's good to go. Oh, no. Well, he's got 9, 13. Yeah, he's got enough. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Good stuff. I didn't even notice his uh, tree list, tree wrestlers originally. Good one. Uh, a, a little stove piped on mana. We didn't draw our, our... We drew four mana in 16 cards, which is obviously not ideal. Um, not what you want to see when you're playing magic cards. Don't want to see your fourth mana pop that late in the game. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's keep, let's keep pushing and, uh, pushing and popping. Hate to see it. I mean, yeah, it's, it sucks. Yeah, getting, getting mana that late fucking sucks. You can't get it. Too much mana, too little mana. It's always down to mana, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, I go first. Let's do that one. He might play the kill card. Yeah. Uh, let's do Fairy Dream Thief. Scry. You know what? We'll draw that. Fine. You know what? We'll draw that one. Sure. Boom. Okay. We're going to get more removal off the top. Lembus bread. That's weird. Um, let's do this. Discard an instant sorcery or creature without flying. I don't know if I want to. You know what? We'll do that. I'd rather keep reasonable doubt, to be honest. Boom. Yeah, I'd rather keep reasonable doubt. Boom. Okay, he's kind of. He's kind of stovepipe. I hope I get a mana. That'd be good. What's he doing? What's he cooking over there? Just cooking and not having mana? Let's do six damage. Boom, boom. We have reasonable doubt. Shelter's Edict, Reasonable Doubt. He might quit on that. Boom, boom, boom. I think he's done. I think he's cooked. I think he's I think he's roasted. Yeah, he's roasted. Same thing happened to him happened to me, man. 
mana, mana choked. Indiana Jones hat. Buggy man, 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 It is a cowboy hat, good sir, and that's because we are headed into cowboy land called Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Good sir. I am cowboyed up, and I can put this cowboy hat on anything. I can move it around. I can be, I can, I can put it on this, on this, uh, see, look at that. That's a cowboy a Phyrexian obliterator now. See that? Buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man. Again, big shout out to Trex. As a matter of fact, let me. He really came up with some great tricks for this. Go, go follow me, Streams. He's a great fucking brewer. And he's gonna, I know he's gonna take Okiba fucking whatever her name is and absolutely bust the fuck out of it. Just, just fucking break it. I don't know what Trex can do um, with uh, an infinite amount of upkeeps, but I'm curious to find out. I'm curious to find out. 61 cards, man. That's where we're at. That's what we do. It, it, it messes with the algorithm. Don't at me. He's gonna pump it up. Oh, no, he didn't pump it up. Steve Core. You going to play in a person pre-release? Um, probably not. Probably not. Um. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to. Get rid of it. Are we choking my asthma? Let's get, yeah, let's do. Choke, keep choking my asthma. Um, I'm leaving this weekend. By the way, I, I think I mentioned this. I might stream tomorrow night. I might not. Um, we, we may, we may not be able to. And I'm going to be gone all weekend. So this may be the last time you see me. I'm going to be gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If you want to talk to me, I'll be on the Discord. I probably won't be streaming. Maybe I'll do one night for an, for a half hour or an hour off my laptop. Um, I have some videos saved up, and I'll be back Monday night. I'll do a welcome back stream just to say hi to everybody, and then we're going to hit the ground running with a 100-card-plus pack opening on Tuesday, and that'll be that'll be stream release. So that'll be that. He's going to melt through that guy. Boom, boom. That. Bango. Do that. Boom. Alright. So he's either got to use a really powerful removal or he's going to try to flood me out here. Um, I rarely ever go to in paper releases. I don't really do them anymore. Everybody. And the thing is, the only thing they play Magic at my local game store is. The only thing they play is fucking Commander. That's it. That's that's like literally it. I, there's no Standard. There's no Pioneer. There's nothing. They play Commander. They have Commander pods there. So I don't even know if they're going to be doing I mean, they probably have something lined up for pre-release, but there's no Standard. Standard, Explorer, Historic, Vintage, nothing. None of that shit. It's just mostly Commander. I used to go pre-pandemic, yeah. doing it he's doing it okay okay all right gonna do the combat swing it in and bing it in man Me down to the paradise city, and the messages are pretty. Boom, 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 boom. 
Boom. Fire inscription. There he goes. That's, he was waiting on his chance, man. He was waiting on his chance. He's going to tempt me. He hasn't done any damage yet, which is, you know, a problem. Um... Three damage. I think he made a mistake here. He may have made a mistake. He's gonna Swift Spirit out. Boom. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. Yeah, we'll block the seven. Bango, bango. Scholar. Two. All right, we do that. Um, we swing in. have enough flurry of fucking destroyed it. Oh, he's gonna wants to kill a shield real bad. Okay. Draws a card. Shocks that guy. Interesting. Perilous. Is he going in on Vraska or me? That's the real question. He's got to go on Vraska, doesn't he? Because I'll just kill the other one next turn. Boom. Oh, I have the chance to do the funniest thing here. Yeah, Empadeo. Three game wiping mono red deck, Orza of Life Link, it's a pleasure. Vermin Control is gonna be big shot, by the way. That is gonna be some big shot shit. Um that is definitely gonna be something that Boros is gonna is gonna hurt. Cinder slash Ravager. All right, I got another one in me. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the year is our city. Oh, won't you please take me home? Rural inscription? Nukes, what's your favorite? They asked me what's my favorite red card. What's your favorite red card? That's the real question. What does Nukes think is the up and coming card to beat? Oh, I'll go first. I can put down Restless Reef. You can play each other though. There's a way that you can play standard. It's not ranked. You play, you fight each other. It's not ranked. Um, right, what's he gonna put down? Tuxedo. Um, Oh, 
we might be missing. I'm not scared, bro. I'm I'm filming a video. You know how you see videos of J Villain decks on my channel and how they go up like almost every day? Well, the way that I'm able to do them is by filming them during the day that, that right now. So I film videos and then I put them on my channel. So that's how content creation works. I, I think I've explained this a bunch of times. If I fought everybody all night, I can't make a video. Want to make a video. Because I like to make videos. <laughs> draw, draw. Who do I want to get rid of here? i -Core. Yeah, we'll get rid of i -Core. Boom. Do, 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 do. Or thank, I will take the L right now. I'll take the damage. Um. There are streamers who just fight people all night. No. <clears throat> they like to see rank. Uh, boom. Bop. I've done videos of me fighting all my subs, and they don't do well. Okay, so what's he gonna do now? The one ring, there it is. You subscribe to the channel? Opponent, yeah, you can have an extra card, dude. Enjoy. Enjoying good health. Boom. Boom. Steam Core Scholar. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, decline. Discard two cards. We'll get rid of Known Killer. And that one. Draw, draw. Go, bang, go. Doom. Wow, I'm surprised Automod did not pick that one up. That's pretty surprising. You can't play ranked, but it's a friendly game. It doesn't it's not ranked, it's friendly. What is this dude what is this dude cooking here, man? It's not going to derank you, Ghost. It doesn't do anything. It's a friendly game. It it it, it does. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hurt you in any kind of way. Fire inscription. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying, "Oh, I don't. I don't want to lose rank." Oh, he's focusing. Okay. Resolve. I'll tell you what, man. You can have that card, too. You can draw all the extra cards that you want in the whole world. Yeah, you're not trying to break the street. I get it. Bro, you're advertising getting destroyed by mono red aggro. If people wanted to get destroyed by mono red aggro, they'd play standard. Like, it's not a novel experience. Do you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, I can beat you in fucking three turns with mono red aggro. Yeah. 
Oh, it's not aggro. Well, that is a novel experience. <laughs> if it's not aggro, then I don't know what you got cooked up. Fiery inscription. All right, he's, he's going wild here, man. My man is... It's Mono Red Mystery. That's, uh... What is this guy... What is this guy doing, man? Look at this man. Tuxedo, what are you doing, bro? Hey, what's up, Atog? I used to have an Atog. It's Control. Mmm. And he chose he chose the uh, his own way out here. I used to have an Atog, an original red Atog. Believe it or not, shock. All right, grind through diamond. I get it. I feel you, bro. All right, we're gonna play for the glove game. We're gonna play for the. <clears throat> we're gonna go for the wall of fire here, and then we're gonna call it. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right there for tonight. Um, pretty good. And we got to thank Trex again for this one. I've modified it. Uh, I've modified it for a little bit. And I think that it is fun. I think Profs is, is, a, is a card that I was slow to grasp onto. But I think it is fun in a card draw deck. Again, overall, interesting, sticky. I think we could probably make a Fey deck with profs and really do some. I think we might have to visit Demir down the road and really go crazy. So it's a, it's a card that is a blue card that I can get behind because it almost acts like a green card. It's it's how many cards you draw gets one, one counters on it. And things get bigger. That's almost a green ability right there. So uh, I like it. Uh, and I always like card gain and drain. That's always a fun one. Um, so overall, pretty fun. I, I enjoy decks like this. I, I used to be a Demir main back in the day, but not so much anymore. So until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain. And you've been great. Bye-bye.